The islands out here are fingers off of Louisiana. They're just so separated apart from it, but. So those, um, are, are they, are there, there's contractors out there that are yes, digging it up out of those trenches? They don't have to dig it up out there. They just got to go along and scoop it right off the surface. Oh, really? Yeah. And what did you call that, Mississippi Sound? Yeah, that's the Mississippi Sound. And there's whole, how many islands? There's um, one, two of right there, two, probably three or four. Hey, Russ, how many islands are out here in the Mississippi Sound? There are like four or five of them. Five or six. And so they really are keeping all the way. I wondered why there's no waves if this is the Gulf. Oh yeah, the hurricanes of the Cat Island. What is it? Cat Island and Ship Island are right next to each other, right? Yeah, they uh, when the hurricanes come through, they they separate those two islands from each other more and more and more and more. They used to be close, but now. They're... No Ship Island, Camille split Ship Island in two pieces. It looks just like a ship. And it broke it in two pieces. Yep. Right we were down back there on the other side of um, Mobile Bay. Okay. We were on those islands, and we were driving along, and then got to the end, and you couldn't go any further because I guess <laughs> that whole mile and a half, and the bridge was gone. Yeah. That brings you back around. There's a lot of these bridges. Like if you go down this way farther before you, when you cross the, uh, I don't know what area that is. It's a bay. There's a bay down there, and it separates past Christiane from Bay St. Louis, and there's a big bridge that's brand new. There, I guess there was one down there that got taken away from the uh, Hurricane Katrina. Hey, Russ. Yeah. That bay, that bridge that goes to Bay St. Louis was taken out by Hurricane Katrina, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a brand new bridge. Oh, it's new now after Katrina? Yeah. yeah. It's a nice bridge, too. Mm -hmm. It's a really long one that goes <laughs> way over to Bay St. Louis. Bay Just St. keep going straight down 90 and you go right up over top of it. Okay. That's on this side of New Orleans, eh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah, I guess we'll head part way that way today. We're not making very fast progress, you know. Well, hey, that's the life of a beach bum. <laughs> that's what you got to do. I know. Enjoy you got to do what you got to do. Yep. The only trouble is that every time it comes up to be night again, you got to go pay for more, another motel night. <laughs> they out on the beach. It's nice and warm out here all night long. I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> There's people could. that do. We yeah. see you know, the beaches littered with beer bottles and everything on every day. Every morning we come out here. Huh, that's interesting. What about bugs and crabs or whatever? Yeah, they don't bite too much though. Too much? <laughs> <laughs> One bite's enough, eh? Hey? Yeah, they just pinch a little bit. So those must be pretty deserted islands out there. Yeah, I don't what think there's with the, on them. There's nothing on them and there's probably not people out there even going out there because it's just people that are cleaning the mess up out there. I know on the north side of the island, they said there's a good amount of tar balls, but on the south side, it looks like somebody just walked up with a quart of mortar oil and just poured it. Oh, really? Yeah, Even all that? over the place. Oh, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. hmm. Those are probably the most pristine beaches out there. They were. Well, I've heard when I first moved down here 10 months ago, they told me that uh, that water on that side is blue. Uh-huh. And the water over here is brown because of those islands in the Mississippi River. And the Mississippi is dropping sand here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's bringing all this silt down. Like and you said, what's does. coming from the other side, you said? The loop current comes out of the, um, the Atlantic Ocean. It comes out, comes past Florida, up through the islands. And it just comes up in here and makes a circle. So when it hits over there towards Mexico and Texas, it's coming up this way. And the Mississippi's coming down. And it just catches the Mississippi and pushes it right along shore. Eastward. Then it goes back down and right back into the loop current. And that's down along the shore of Florida? Yeah. Because it's a circle in here. Yep. Great big circle. Yep. Like a big bay. Not like the big bay I'm used to out there in San Francisco, Oakland. That's where you live, eh? <laughs> that's where I did live for a long time. My sister years. lives out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I miss it. I miss it. I love it. Yeah. It's beautiful. But this, is, this has got its own beauty, too. Yeah. It's got really good seafood. They're catching it now, eh? Yeah, I guess they've opened uh, 5,000 square miles more a day, I think, like that, something like that. Because they keep checking and there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. You want a water or Gatorade or anything? Sure, thanks. What do you want, a water or Gatorade? A water. water? 
please. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. You're welcome. If you got any questions, I'll be up and down checking these guys out. But uh, okay. Just feel free to ask. My name's Don. Can you open that? Yes, sir. Please. That was my first question. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything to drink, this guy will be rolling through every oh, now yeah. and then. Just holler at him. He'll give you one. Yeah. How you doing? Thank you. This is Malcolm, my safety officer. This is BP's water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we should take as much as we can from BP. They've given us more than we wanted already. <laughs> Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that is true. Yeah, good old BP. Well, there was a BP station I passed somewhere not too long ago. Yeah, there was another one down the road down there. We keep, I go there and get my gas just because. <laughs> I don't know. They got to... I guess you got to keep them in business or they won't be able to clean up the beaches. If you put yeah, them out I'm of business, liberty, then we're really up I'm the I'm not at liberty to say anything about BP because of uh, the position that I hold, but uh -huh. I have to cover my own self, so uh -huh. I just go there and buy my gas every now and then. <laughs> yep, I understand. I wonder when they make claims. Sometimes you make, they make, people make, they sue and make claims and part of the settlement is that they'll never sue again and you know this is going to be an ongoing thing for the next hundred years unfortunately yes unfortunately yes i think you just got stranded on the beach oh, that's all right i'm used to walking a couple miles a day yeah mm -hmm. i usually have uh my guys going back and forth because this is this is relatively a uh, very short area that we're doing right now and I got these two tents usually close together but usually there's one right there where that tent is uh -huh. and then I'll put the next one down there where those RTVs are. Where those other four wheelers are way down there. Oh yeah. And I spread my people out that far apart uh -huh. from each other. So I have usually him or the other guy driving back and forth, taking them to the restrooms and taking them to lunch and making sure they got water because I only got one safety officer that drives back and forth for water. Mm. and Gatorade. I mean, they have their own coolers, but we got to keep up on them, especially when it starts getting hot out here. I don't want nobody falling out, going to the hospital. Uh -huh. Heat stress, I don't want none of that. So wait, then conscience. the media will get it. Yeah. Oh, man. And I've been so fortunate on my teams. I've had really good teams that I've never had an incident like that. Of course, I tell them to pump the water. They get 30 minutes of work, 30 minutes on a break, you drink two waters hmm. at least. Wow. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Richard, so. Richard uh, I think that's Richard and um, my woman's up there. He said we're going to show her around plate. Um, then I told her to come back and get him. I told him I'd probably be back down here on the beach. All right. All right. I'll go over there and check him out. Thanks, Derek. Well, have a lovely time, Dan. <laughs> Very nice you meeting too. you. I'm pleasure. Nancy Today. Yeah, Nancy Today. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to look Not up your... Not Nancy uh, Pelosi or Nancy Grace. Just Nancy <laughs> Today. I remember that. Every day's different. <laughs> Eventually, I think uh, my team is going to be an internet sensation all over the place because we've had a lot of people come out and take pictures. They took pictures of our whole team when we were down here in front of Treasure Bay. Uh -huh. There were a couple of ladies that have Facebook sites and they were, uh, they took a whole picture of the whole team. Wow, that was a big fish. Well, I'm trying not to get people's faces. I don't really want to identify people in case they don't want to be on. I don't, you know. I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. I'm on a couple of other websites too. I, mean, I don't. I don't. They ask me questions. I don't give them statements. I just, you know, I try to answer whatever questions they may have. That's within the, uh, the guidelines. Areas, guidelines, and I'm allowed to answer. Yeah. Well, enjoy your day, man. We're gonna you go check too. out these people. Okay. okay. Hey, you guys got those?